Hey, what's up guys, how you doing? Uh, today I want to show you how you can create an ocean in Karma XPU in Houdini. And I'm making this video because uh, I saw a video where there was an ocean created with a Vex shader uh, preset in Houdini and that doesn't work with XPU. So I looked online but I almost didn't find anything. Even though with the new Houdini 20 there's a whole preset for making oceans. So let's dive into it. So first let's create a lop. And let's dive in. And let's create a camera. Dome light. And come our render settings. Let's this in here and let's select an HDRI. Mm, maybe let's go with this one for now. So <clears throat> once you have your scene, you want to go up to the oceans tab. If that is not here, you can click on the little plus sign, go to shelves and tick the little icon where it says oceans and you need to check lop oceans. Then go to the small ocean or the big one, the large ocean, whatever you want. And it already creates a network for you with a setup. You have the render grid, which you can use to control the size and where you want it to be. So you can place it somewhere else if you're not fine with it at the center at the origin. And you can control the preview grid, which we don't need to change, which because it's um, the settings are locked to the to the uh, to the grid here. So if we change it here, it also changes the preview grid. Then we have the ocean spectrum, which we can use to control the waves and the wave shapes. We can also up the resolution a bit, just for starters. And if you're fine with the animation, you can also play it. Then you can go to the ROP geometry output and save it to disk. This you will need later because if you go back to the LOP net and you go into the procedural, you'll see it references the geometry here and it uses it to displace the ocean. So if we go, let's go down here and let's place a preview Houdini procedurals, which we can use to preview the Houdini ocean. But we also need to set in geometry and shading in the camera and uh, camera render settings by dicing, uh, under dicing, the camera in the scene, so it can subdivide the geometry of the ocean where the camera is viewing the ocean. This uh, optimizes the scene. Let's put the preview procedural below the render settings and swap to Karma XPU. Let's click reload geometry and here you go. Now you can see the ocean is displaced and if we play it's also animated it also comes with textures so it's already textured it even simulates the volume of the ocean if you want to see where the ocean textures are stored you can go to the surface material and jump to it and they're inside the Houdini ocean procedural here you can change the settings but I'd leave that uh, what they are. If you want foam you can also just double click on the Houdini procedural and you jump into it again and here we are again in the ocean and you can bake the foam just click save to disk this will render for a bit and after a second it should be ready then you can go back up to the lobnet reload the geometry Tick the little foam particles icon 
and let's preview it again. And here we go, we have the foam particles. You have to remember that this is the Houdini preview procedure, so it won't look like that in the render. Uh, for the actual render, it will look a lot better. So let's let's show that. Remember to set a camera for dicing, um, which I can also I can jump out of it out of the, uh, out of the camera for a second. Uh, let's see. And if we look at the geometry, you see it subdivides where the camera view is, also depending on how far from the camera the geometry is. This uh, optimizes the scene a lot. And yeah, so let's see what a render would look like. Uh, render to play. There we go. That was extremely easy really fast and the results look absolutely amazing with the advantage of an extremely fast render time which you can see here six seconds which is absolutely insane so that's it for today and i hope i see you in the next one this one was a quick one so see you guys